Today coming up, another quick test of a plugin that promises to take care of mastering for you automatically. Different places, different worlds, nothing left, just empty words. Back for breath, barely touch, nothing ever is enough. Hey guys, welcome to the studio. My name is John Sign, DJ, producer, daily vlogger. Today, another busy day in exactly one week. My new single, We Runnin', will be released. So a lot of things I have to take care of, promotional things. And if you're interested how I promote my songs, how to get your music out there and be heard by a lot of people, I made a video yesterday about it. It will be linked up at the end of this video. And as I yesterday already announced, I got a new plugin. It's a magical plugin that does like mastering for you. So I definitely want to test it out today and see if it actually works as advertised. First up, I got the other day a, a huge package. It's so huge it doesn't even fit into the studio. So let me try and show it to you. This right here is the package. It's like 25 kilograms. That's like 50 pounds for my not metric friends. You know what? I will just deal with this later. This is taking up way too much time. As you know, I wanted to make John Sign and Accents merch for you guys and I did like a couple of test prints and I bought like millions of t-shirts, tested them, washed them, dried them, checked out how they behave over a week or two. And first of all, I came to the conclusion the quality isn't the one that I actually want. The second thing was that I started to become really nerdy about how to make t-shirts, then I thought about making them myself which is good, I, I got closer to the quality, but at the end, this would have been way too much time spent making shirts, sending them out, then if they do not fit or someone sends them back, way too much trouble, it's not worth it at this point, I will have to wait to a later stage. So maybe at the beginning or mid of next year. Cause as you know, my life is making music, producing music and DJing, making YouTube videos. It's like a small hobby. On top of that, making shirts, not really the wisest move. And before it gets too much and I can't handle all of it, it's better to just concentrate on the things you truly love. And that is definitely making music. So let's get right to checking out this new plugin. I'm, I'm actually really excited about this. This right here is the plugin suit. It's called T-Rex 5. It was just released a couple of days ago. It's meant for mastering mostly, but you can of course use all of the single plugins also in your DAW to compress, EQ, use the reverb or some of the other effects. I won't do like a full review test because I just got it yesterday evening. I didn't have the time to test it that much to give you my opinion. Opinion, but there is one thing I definitely want to test out today and that is the new master and match function. It's like a little plugin at the end of your mastering chain that can analyze other tracks and apply their mastering onto your song. I would definitely try and go for tracks that are in the same key so that the bass notes and bass frequencies hit at the right spot. As you know I already made like a year ago a video about like a sneaky technique to get closer to other people's tracks which is basically using a magic key more for reference than actually copying it but this master match plugin takes it one step further it's not only copying the EQing it's also copying something they call spectral matching and also the level the dynamic of the track so it's really made for copying the master of someone else i definitely want to test if it can match one of my unmastered songs against the same song and mastered by my mastering engineer which is a real professional guy that is doing mastering for 30 years and just mastered the new robin schultz album so someone that definitely knows how to master songs and i want to see how it competes against it but first up let's go through some of the plugins and give you a rough overview about the T-Rex 5. This is like the standalone version. In the top left hand corner we have like a nice selection of presets that you can apply onto your song to master it, to have a starting point. As you can see at the bottom it loads a chain of different plugins. Here in this case a linear phase EQ, a dynamic multi-compressor, de-esser and a compressor that all lead to the new mastering and match plugin. In the top right corner you got all of the metering you will need for mastering. And at the bottom you have all of the plugins available to select, dynamics, equalizers, reverbs and delays, and some other plugins. You can then just simply drag and drop them into your chain, change the position of them, swap them out, 
bypass them, activate them, and I have to give it to them. They all look really fantastic. I don't know. I love the style, how they designed the plugins. I know it doesn't do anything to the sound, but a good looking plugin is, is always a pleasure. I've opened up now Logic, loaded into it the unmastered version of my final warning track. Next up, opening the master and match plugin, clicking here on to add reference and adding as a reference the final warning track that got mastered and released. It's now learning the reference. It's, it's blinking here, learn reference. I don't know how long this will take. <sighs> the waiting, just one minute, it's not too bad. Maybe I just have to click onto the next one, learn source. It's now waiting for audio playback. So let's hit a space. The promise lay. I let it run through the entire track and now it's about time to hit match. It's kind of cool because like the faders and the cue are moving automatically and, and smooth, not all of a sudden. So it's like someone is doing it for you and that's what this plugin is for. As you can see, it now analyzed that it reduced a little in the bass frequencies, right around like 30 hertz. It, it also reduced the bass a little at 80 hertz, boosted it a bit at 200 hertz and removed a little bit of the very high frequencies. It also applied 46% of spectral matching and also 75% of level matching. Now let's actually drag into Logic the final mastered version by the mastering engineer, put it right underneath of it. And now they should sound the same or almost the same, very close. So let's try it actually out. First, the master match version. And now the one by the mastering engineer. Let's compare them again side by side. You had the chance to save her, be her savior. Let me know which version you think sounds better. For me, it's definitely the one by the mastering engineer. It sounds way more natural, but this is like an unfair test. The mastering engineer, a human skill trained for years and an algorithm. But I think this plugin is definitely something good that can help you to get closer to what you have in mind. You can use it, compare it, see if it improves your track and kind of stick to it. Or if it doesn't improve it, you can still change it. So I would say it's an assistant and not something that will take care of mastering for you entirely but it will get you one step closer by using it i think it's definitely a good help especially for people that are beginners and i can even see mastering engineers using this as a starting point because they have a lot of times customers that just tell them make my song sound like this song and it would save a lot of time get you closer to it and you can still tweak and fine tune everything to your liking. In the next couple of days, I will test the entire suit further and do like a full review if you're interested, because there are a bunch of other plugins also included and there's a lot of compressors, delays, reverbs, and some other plugins. One downside that I see to this master and match plugin is that you actually pay quite a lot for this entire suit and the master and match is part of it. I think like 500, 600 euros. And with that money, you can go to a very trained, skilled mastering engineer and get like 10 songs mixed and mastered by him and you save the time you don't have to do it yourself and there is no way you can compete with someone that is just specialized in mastering so i would still highly suggest you the mastering guy and now it's just time to go back into logic work on one of my upcoming tracks i'm still a little bit lost with the second given track stay forever or whatever it will be called at the end yeah that doesn't really sound good I'm already trying to cool my laptop again with ice packs, but it's it's still not handling running logic smoothly. So it doesn't really make fun to, to make music. So I think I will just switch to some other task until I've figured out the problem with my laptop. Now to my favorite task. Of course, sanding and glowing. 
Oh, by the way, this keyboard, you all know it. That's my very first keyboard. I did a giveaway with the keyboard. I contacted the person like three times. It's now, I think two weeks. And I don't really know what to do. Should I make another giveaway? Just select another random person? Let me know how I should handle the situation. I, I really want to give it to someone. I don't like it being here and, and doing nothing. As always, I've completely lost traction of time, it's late. I'm actually invited tonight to a club. As you know, as a DJ and producer, you can't just sit in the studio. You also have to go outside, connect with the people. And a club opening is definitely something I can't miss. First, really quick, back home. Don't drive as fast as me, please. You shouldn't park like this. Never ever cut that fast. Don't. Eat that friend. Ciao, ciao. And don't ever leave your girl on a Friday evening alone at home just to go out and drink with friends. And I'm back. It's like 4.30 in the morning. Don't have pizza for breakfast. And also don't drink that much. The night was really, really cool with a lot of... I can't even talk anymore. With a lot of friends, drinking a little bit too much. And this new club was just amazing. I just love what they did to it. They rebuilt the entire club with mirrors and cool lights. You know, those flashy lights, I just love them. The sound system is extremely good. My camera didn't capture it really well, so here's one picture, another picture, and one more. And for me, it's now just time to end this video, get some sleep. Tomorrow is another exciting day in the studio, trying to rescue my computer, or maybe just, just buying a new one. I don't know, we will see and find out tomorrow. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and sign out. <sighs> what an exhausting night.